Hello, this is Huckadabean, and today we are going to SCP-388. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I already forgot the name of this SCP. Let's get right into this. I'm numbered. SCP-388. Object Class Euclid. SCP-388 is be kept in a locked safe in a room guard by at least two armed guards. Instructed to refuse access to any unauthorized personnel, use of lethal force is permitted to this end. Unless undergoing experimentation, SCP-388 is to remain outside the influence of any other SCPs is demonstrating properties capable of modifying physical laws or drawing energy from unknown sources. Description SCP-388 consists of a foldable Nylon frisbee of the type commonly given away as promotional material. In this case, bearing the logo of the Banana Boat Suntan Lotion Corporation. SCP 388 appears to be immune to damage. During testing, it has been able to withstand high caliber rifle shots, emerge in high acid baths, and sustain temperatures of 3500 degrees Celsius. In all cases, it would spring back unharmed to its original shape. X-ray acrylography reveals the molecular structure of SCP-388 to be completely normal nylon, supported by a, a ring of metal appearing to be aluminum. SCP-388 was discovered after witnesses in a local news report in the town of Redacted, claimed a power line was downed by a UFO. Agents in bed with, with maintenance crews investigated and found the concrete pole was sliced cleanly with no tool marks, prompting full investigation status. Aerial records obtained from NORAD and Redacted revealed no abnormalities such as that expunged, typically associated with that is expunged. The investigation was terminated until agents posing as reporters interviewed the redacted family, originally questioning in, in, in a news report. At a child, redacted mentioned that the entire incident as being caused by a frisbee. Initially skeptical, efforts were nonetheless as taken to verify this claim with initial confirmation made on an unknown date. A full week of helicopter searches of the neighboring city of redacted and numerous retrievals of unremarkable frisbees from rooftops eventually yielded re results. Unfortunately, Agent Redacted was fatally dismembered by SCP-388 when Agent Redacted threw the object down from the roof. Under guise of, of replacing a septic kit tank, SCP-388 was dug up from a dressing place five and a half meters below the yard and carefully brought in for containment. SCP-388, when thrown by a human, appears to travel as a normal frisbee would for a distance of approximately 3 meters. After this distance, SCP-388 immediately begins growing bright white and accelerates until its velocity reaches approximately redacted meters per second. SCP-388 will proceed to cleanly slice through all intervening matter regardless of consistency until eventually coming to rest. Current theory holds that it loses speed due to the friction between its top and bottom surfaces and the weight of material pressing down on it as it passes through objects. SCP-388 does not differentiate between matter and test subjects assigned to catch it. Addendum. Inquiries into potential use of SCP-388 as a weapon have been declined by Redacted in light of the obvious difficulty of retrieving it after its first throw. Yeah, that does pose as a rather sensible problem. Anyway, that was SCP-388, the ultimate frisbee, as I remember the name and now from actually reading the description. Happens a lot with these. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!